Hello children, welcome to the digital class. In our today's topic, we are going to learn about basic geometry. Today, we are going to learn prerequisites in the basic geometry. So, let us start the topic children. So, what are the basic terms that we are going to learn in our today's topic? So, let us see children. So, here we are going to learn five basic points. That is the first one is a point. Then we are going to learn about line segment. Then a line, a ray and finally, we are going to learn about angle. So, these are the five prerequisites or the basic terms that we are going to learn in our, in our today's session. So, first let us learn about a point children. Take a look at this map children. This you can see in your Google Maps, is not it? You might have tried many times. So, I want to just locate a Telangana State New Secretariat Building. Here you can notice that. Isn't it children? Here I am just highlighting that this is our new secretariat building. Now, when you click on that, it is going to show you this on your screen, isn't it? Now, let us see when I zoom out, what you have seen? Again, the same thing you have seen, but the size of the dot here, the red dot has decreased. Let us further zoom out, children. Now, what do you notice again? still the dot has become smaller in size. Now, do it once again. So, further reduced, do it one more time. Now, you cannot see the dot, or dot itself, right? Now, what actually it means to say? Now, even though that place exists there, but when we have zoomed out, what is happening? We are unable to see or it becomes invisible. So, what actually I mean to say is that the dot which we are using here, that represents a location, right? Now, let us see what actually a location means in mathematics. A location is nothing but a point in terms of mathematics. So, in that map, we have seen certain points here. You can see, right, that which are marked here in red. You can see your four points which are marked in red. Now, these four points, what actually they are meant for? They are showing you the location in different different areas. Here it can be uh, secretariat office, some other points also you can see which represents different different places. And now these points if you notice they are represented by capital letters of English alphabet. So, remember children we do use only capital letters not the small letters in English alphabet. Okay. Now, what actually point means children? A point determines a location. That means point A, it determines location, maybe some uh, say a market or maybe some uh, temple or something like that, right? Here, if you notice point B, it represents secretariat. So, like that point P and point X also, they represent some location. Now, a point is always denoted by a capital letter that we have just now seen. Okay, children. So, this is about point children. I hope you have understood what exact a point is. And also I told you a point is a dimensionless. It does not have length or breadth. This you need to remember children. Next one is about a line segment. Now, what is a line segment? Let us see. Now, again on your Google map, you can see a point that is your home and another point that is your school. Okay. Now, let us see children, how we reach from your home to the school. What are the different ways? So, here I can start from that point, move towards your right, okay. Then, you can see you have arrived to your school. So, this is the path which we have followed. But is there any other alternate way for us? Let us see that also children. Now, we are moving, moving from your uh, home towards your left side and again we are coming back to your school. So, here also if you notice there is another alternate way, but children is there any other way also by which you can reach to your school? Let us see that also. So, now here if you see this blue one, this is another way by which you can come to your school also. Now, what is the difference between all these three children? Let us see in terms of its distance. If you notice this red color one, the zigzag one takes 1500 meters, right, for you to reach 
the school. Whereas the lower one, the black one, if you see, it takes 1300 meters to reach your school. But whereas the middle one that is blue, it takes only 900 meters for you to reach the school. Now this shortest distance between any two points, here I can say home is a point and school is another point. Between these two points, this is the shortest distance. So in mathematical terminology, this shortest distance between any two points, we call it as a line segment and which is also a straight line segment. Got it? So now we understood what a line segment is. So a line segment is formed by joining any two points. So I have taken a point here that is your home and school is another point. When I join these two, you get a line segment. The next, a line segment has a fixed length. Notice children here, this length is 900 meters. It can be any length. It can be 1 meter, 1 centimeter. For example, if you take the edge of this digital board itself, that is having a fixed length. So, line segment has different, different lengths also, right? The next one is, a line segment AB, here if you notice this is the line segment AB, right? A starting point and an ending point. Now how do we represent this line segment? So we represent line segment by this way AB, over that a bar you can see or even it is BA, a bar over it. So both represents same line segment. Got it children? AB or BA represents the same line segment. So I hope you understood what a line segment is. Let us move to the next one children, that is a line. Now what do you see on your board children? Yes, a line segment AB, isn't it? Now what happens if I am going to drag that point B, a line towards point B, right side of point B, I am dragging it indefinitely, okay? It is extended indefinitely. At the same time, I will come to this point that is A, here also, what we do is, here also, at point A, I am going to drag it to an infinite distance. Now children, what do you notice? So that line segment is actually expanded to infinite length. Now such type of line segment where it is like extended up to infinite length, we call it as a line. So children, what actually a line is? A line is obtained when a line segment is extended on both the sides indefinitely. That means on B side you are extending, on A side also we are extending. How much? Indefinite length. You cannot measure it. Okay. So that is a line. Then how to represent this line now children? So a line is always denoted by AB, A bar. Now this is line segment, sorry, line AB. On this if you see, an arrow, double headed arrow is there. Head is towards right side arrow and also towards the left side. Okay. And even these lines can also be represented by small letters like I can take L, M, N and so on. So this line I can write it as line L or line AB. If you take AB, you see that there is a double headed arrow above AB. Got it children? Now we will move on to the next concept that is a ray. What actually a ray is? Children, you can see here on the screen a beautiful solar system where the sun is at the center and all the planets are around it. Now, what do you see in this picture, children? Yes, you see some rays are scattered all around the solar system. Do you know how much distance or how much length it has? You can't say, right? Now, at the same time, if you see the pic which is towards the right side, a boy is searching for a book using a torch light. Here also, a torch is like a source of light which is emitting some rays. Here also, the sun is a source which is emitting some rays. That means, from that point, the rays have started and travels up to infinite length. Let us understand what exactly mathematically this means. Mathematically, these are called as rays, whether it is a sun ray or the light ray, we call it as a ray in mathematics. Now, what is actually a ray? A ray is a part of a line. Why it is a part of a line? Because if you cut a line and which has one starting point, then it forms a ray. So, 
it begins with an initial point which we call it as one end point and it continues till how much distance children you never know right indefinite length and also it has a particular direction it may be moving toward your right or maybe towards your left or some direction in a specified direction it will be moving for example the sun rays we have seen then next if you see how we represent a ray if you notice here this is a ray which is starting from point o right here and moving towards a specified direction and you don't know the length of it it is endless right now how do we represent this ray oa now this ray oa is denoted by you can see here oa and a single headed arrow and whichever direction it is moving the arrow also should be in the same direction so that you need to remember children got it then one more important thing is here a ray has only one end point now if you notice here oa is a ray in this the end point is yes o is the only end point right now let us go for another concept children that is angle now what an angle is so for that a small a video i am going to play here what do you notice on your screen children yeah this is a scissor right now let's see what actually happens to this scissor so you can notice we are just moving the blades of the scissor children got it so children if you notice here the blades are wide open right now here this is one blade and this another blade if i assume this has to be a ray and this edge has to be another ray or here also i can assume this has one ray and another ray so what is exactly happening here children two rays are formed here now between these two rays if you notice yes there is an angle formed here toward these two blades and also towards the handle also you can notice an angle is formed let's take one more example children what do you notice on your board children yes it is a wall clock right now just will see how the hands of the wall clock are rotating so at some point of time i am going to stop this see I have stopped this now if i no if i mark this as some starting point so this will be one ray or i can take a line segment assume this to be a ray or a line segment and again between these two also an angle is formed so let us see how this angle is formed in clocks so here if you notice again these are the two hands of a clock and between these two an angle is formed so this is one of the example that we come across in your daily life right like maybe a scissor or maybe a clock maybe opening the door opening your textbook or notebook so these are all various examples of angles in our daily life okay children now what exactly an angle is let's see children so here if you notice i have a ray here another ray so between these two there is an angle formed here so let us mark this rays as oa and ob now these rays are emerging or having a common end point that is o now this common end point is called the vertex children the common end point of these two rays is called the vertex now what about these two rays children then those two rays oa is one ray and ob is another ray these two rays are called the arms of the angle so the arms can be either rays or it can be line segments also children okay now what an angle is an angle is made up of two rays isn't it so here we have two rays and they start from one common point from this common point only both the rays are emerging out and now this common end point we already learned it is called the vertex and these two rays of the angle are called as arms of the angle okay children so children with this we have come to the end of our basic terms or basic terminology in geometry i hope you have understood all the concepts isn't it children but before we exactly leave we'll have a quick recap of what we have done in our today's class let's see children so today we have learned about a point a line a line segment ray and angle let's see so here a point determines a location that is what we have already learned children so what actually point is it is going to 
determine a place. Okay. Then next, if you take a look at the line segment, a line segment is formed by joining two points and it has always a fixed length. So that is about a line segment. Then about a line, if you notice, a line is obtained when the line segment is extended endlessly on either sides, isn't it? Then it forms a line and a line has indefinite length. Okay. So next one, if you notice, a ray. What a ray is? A ray is actually a part of a line, okay, with one starting point and it goes on indefinite length. Okay. So it has one starting point, but it has infinite length. Then finally, if you come to the angle part, okay. So what an angle is? So angle is made up of two rays, which are going to have a common vertex, okay, which are going to have a common point. Okay. So that's all children. I hope you have understood the basic terms of geometry. With this, we come to the end of our session. Happy learning. Thank you. Thank you.